Hey, my name presents. Uh, we've got a wonderful message for you today about face masks, about service, and about how we are a community of faith in a new way. And I want to introduce Denise Bennett and Gay Hank to share a little bit more. So many of you were asking, how can we help? What can we do? So we started reaching out to our different mission partners. And one of my first phone calls was to our dear friend Denise and the children's uh, shelter here in San Antonio and said that very thing, how can we help? She indicated a dire need for face masks, and I'll let her tell you a little bit more about that. So I sent a quick email out to folks who had shown interest on ministry interest surveys and in conversation about sewing or quilting or crafting. And within hours, we had 10 to 15 ladies already making face masks. So today we're presenting over 250 face masks to the children's shelter and we repurposed a project that we were going to have at our 40th anniversary of making fleece blankets for Lutheran World Relief. It was determined that that was not a, a gift Lutheran World Relief needed anymore so in looking for a new home for it and in Denise's comment that some of the older children at the shelter needed projects. We've repurposed these. Uh, we've got several ladies who are turning the fleece already in hand into kits that we'll send over there. The kids will make their own blanket and be able to keep it. I'm gonna let Denise share a little bit more about the work at the children's shelter. First of all, um, you know, this partnership goes many years back and I've been at a couple of different agencies but Gay and I have always kept in touch and have always um, really worked well together in trying to meet the needs of our community. At the Children's Shelter, we have a higher census than we've ever had before. And uh, a lot of older children, teenagers, who are in our care. And so when she called me to say, what can we help you with? The blankets were a perfect fit because not only do the children really love fleece blankets. They have one on the bottom of their bed, and we, were, we have tried to make sure that every child never leaves the children's shelter without their own blanket. But this gives the older kids an opportunity to make the blankets for themselves and also to serve the younger children um, by making blankets for them as well. So that's going to be a great project for those teens that are over at our Whataburger Center. And the masks, we have a desperate need for masks. You can imagine we have over 300 employees and children on the campus. Everybody is required to wear a face mask. And I remembered making a quilt square for one of your quilts. And so when you asked how you could help, I was like, hey, is there any way we can turn this into a mask project? And so how would I have ever known that we would be walking away with almost the number of masks that we need to uh, supply them to our staff and children? There have been so many people in the community who've reached out to us to ask how they can help. And one of the ways that we have, since everyone's kind of staying at home and we're not even accepting drop-off donations at our location, is that we've put together an Amazon wish list. So if there's something that we're in need of, children's underwear, socks, whatever is on our list, all you have to do is go to Amazon to the wish list for the children's shelter and you can make a purchase there and it gets shipped directly to us and then gets dispersed to the children. And the community has already responded with $29,000 worth of merchandise that has been shipped to us. And that's a huge savings to us, not only from the terms of um, what the children need and that we're not having to purchase that for them, but since all of our donation stations and thrift store are closed, we don't have that constant source of drop-offs that we normally have for the kids. So we just appreciate all of you so much, the relationship that I have with Abiding Presence Lutheran Church. I have always said and will continue to say that when I walk in the doors here, I feel like I'm coming home. We'll have links on the Saturday emails with the um, link for the Amazon wish list. And if any of you'd like to help with face masks or blankets, email or call us. Thank you.